Today we're gonna do slow hands pottery in the middle of nowhere. I don't know where we are. My wife bring me here to sell my pottery. Two weird people drop them off in the middle of a residential estate. Where are we? I don't know. Big one. Oh my god, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a wasp. Uh, we are looking for 113 slow hands pottery. Is it? OOTD What is your name? You look very warm I'm fucking warm <laughs> One day, uh, a few weeks into dating, uh, we'd gone for a walk after we'd both eaten our body weight in Korean barbecue and I'd had a heated argument with the bartender about something. <laughs> Standard date night. <laughs> As we walked along Newbridge Road, we realised we were at that tipping point where you decide to give it a go or call it quits. I told you all the things that I was worried about which at any given moment is a very long list. <laughs> the things that on paper maybe didn't make sense. Were our backgrounds too different? Were our cultures too clashing? Could we fit in with each other's families? Where would our hypothetical kids fit into the world? What happens if I want to move? What happens if you don't? You listened and then responded with all the reasons that I didn't need to be worried. I realised then that when people talk about knowing when it's right, that it doesn't have to be an unachievable or complicated thing. Actually, when you know it's right, it's the easiest thing in the world. On paper, you were a risk. <laughs> <laughs> but you never felt like a risk to me. To me, I'd never been so sure about anything. Since then, you've always been my biggest hype man, my kindest critic, my favourite person to go on adventures with, my favourite person to do nothing with. Right. <laughs> I promise to help support each other in achieving our goals through life, to always share my strength, to never hide my flukiness, and to always let you into what I'm thinking. 
I promise to always try and put things back in the right place after I've used them. <laughs> I promise to remember to refill the ice tray after I've emptied it. <laughs> and I promise to always be your number one subscriber. <laughs> My chin I go. <laughs> Natasha Mathieu, um, you ask me the same question every two weeks since we have moved in together. When was the day I realized that I fell in you? You ask me the same question every two weeks and my answer is always the same. Um, you just want to hear my answer. And my answer has always been the same every time. It was the day that we both became vulnerable with each other and expressed our deepest fears for being half drunk on soju and eaten our weight in K barbecue. Um, next to the overhead bridge on North Bridge Road. I can't remember which one right now. I think I was drunk. Um, and while that has always been my answer that um, every time you ask, these few weeks leading up to the wedding have really made me rethink that answer. Maybe that's not the right answer. <laughs> I think the right answer is that I realize that I love you again and again every day when I wake up next to you. And I realize that I love you when I see you strive to make the world a better place through your work, your career, or through your friends and your family. And I realize that I love you whenever you stand up for the ones that you love. I realize that I love you whenever you motivate me to pursue my goals and ambitions and to never give up, even though I'm sometimes on the verge of giving up. I realize that I love you whenever you embrace my vulnerability, my weaknesses, and you push me to be at my very best, but also embrace me when I'm at my very worst. I promise to never stop showing you my true self. I promise to always strive to be strong for you when you need me to and to not hide my weakness when you are trying to help me. I hope that we will never ever forget to be kind, patient, but also remain childishly fun with each other for the rest of our days. I love you very much, my editor. Oh, 11. 11, 11, 11.